understand this, and if you can believe this, let me tell you something. Sickness is not permitted to be in your body. Amen. Because your body is to present God holy to Him. And it's to present it holy. Everything that attacks your body, attacks it, is something that's trying to destroy it. And God's trying to show you ways to prevent it by healing you. It said, if there be any sick, if there be any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. Most churches don't have any elders because the elders don't have enough faith to pray for them. Think about that. Did you ever walk up to somebody and somebody, you ask them to pray and here's what they say, God, if it be thy will, boy, I'll jerk that hand off the of so fast. God will. You better know what God's will is. You better know that God can. Yes, He can. Right. My God can do anything but fail. Amen. And failure's not one of His things. Praise God. The one thing that He did say, He repented that He said, I regret more or less that I ever made man. Because He gave man the free will to do what He wants to do. <laughs> Some of you didn't come to church because you didn't want to. Some of you came to church because you want to. You have a free will. Having faith means that if you have a problem, Sandra, that you can either call for someone that has faith with you or somebody to agree with you or you can have enough faith that you can just bombard heaven for yourself and break through. Amen. Rudy can verify this. Pam can verify this. Ray can verify this. There's been times that we've been joined together, believers, and we get together and we would pray until we felt the power of God come down and shake the place. I'll never forget Leroy Allen and me standing over there in one of Red's houses, and I'm getting ready to leave. Leroy Allen's got his hand on my shoulder and he stood about this much taller than me. Big man. And I said, for some reason, I want to pray right now before I leave. He said, I do too. Him and I joined hands. And we're not the type that gets excited and jumps up and down and does cartwheels and flip-flops and all that stuff. We started praying and so help me, our hands got so hot they felt like they were on fire. Amen. And our feet started doing one of these. Times. No, I don't do that. There's been times that the music beats are good. I want to put my hand here and do a little this. But that's self. This was the Spirit of God so strong. In fact, it was so strong it woke everybody up in the house. They thought the house was falling apart. They come running out of their bedrooms, running out there wondering what's going on. And they seen what was going on, they just froze. They just stood there and looked at us like we had nine eyes. After we got done praying, I don't know what we were praying because we were praying in tongues. And God did not give us the interpretation of what we were praying. But it did something because when Sunday service came, it was one of the most fantastic services we ever had in that church. Amen. Amen. If I can find two or three or even a dozen people that's not worried about what everybody else is thinking in church today Amen. and get down here in the front and join hands and pray 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 and, pray and, pray and, pray and get going in that spirit, the whole place will fall to their, their knees. Amen. Because where prayer is issued up, glory comes down. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. And when you put that word out there, it goes forth and it accomplishes where it's been sent. And it won't come back until it has honored the word. Amen. And the word is God. Hallelujah. It was made flesh and it dwelt among men. That's right. Amen. He came to his own. And they received him not. But as many as received him, on, gave them uh, gave them what? Power. Power. Yeah. To become. Yeah. Come 
sons of God. The sons of God. Thank you. Here's a real.